Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Kenyan Crew Podcast. I'm your host, Bulls. How do you do? Good new, good new. So I wanted to do a quick episode because, well, one, it's been a very long time since I did a podcast episode. And two, I also just started live streaming on a new place, Kick. Uh, I, I made the switch from when I used to, the place that I used to live stream at, to Kick because of the main reason. I, I don't have any problems. Like, you know the place where everybody knows me as Bulls originally? I always had problems over there. If I live stream for too long, I get it the whole time I'm like this, worried about if I'm going to get banned or if I say one too many things, I'm going to have permanent access denied with, with live streaming and whatnot. So it's, I don't know, it's not it's not very fun to look forward to that. You know, Meanwhile, I'm just painting or I'm in the woods doing photography, and then all of a sudden I see my live stream is taken away from me for no reason. So that's very discouraging. It's very annoying. Why am I doing all this here? Like sometimes I would specifically do things just for the live, and then it would end in minutes. So that gets very old very fast. <clears throat> so uh, so I switched over to this other application that's very popular um, for live streaming video games and whatnot. And that was that was cool. I didn't have any personal issues with it except for this one one main thing. They don't show you anybody new. So I had to pull everybody. And it's one thing. Okay, I grant that. I get it. Everybody's trying to live stream. Everybody's trying to fucking play video games and and be a live streamer. Okay, fine. So you don't don't show everybody as soon as they start live streaming. But God damn it. I was doing it for two years. I brought in 2,000 people, probably about 1,500 within like my first week of being signed on there. I became an affiliate within my first week of being on there. And it didn't. It did nothing. It was no big deal. Nobody gave a shit. And so, like, I got a total of probably, like, six people brand new from that application itself. And the six people that came in was all controversial, oddballs, whack jobs. It was just, it was nothing normal. Nothing like, hey, uh, I've never seen you before. Uh, Who the fuck are you? You know, and then I say, oh, yeah, I'm better known on TikTok. But then I, oh, fuck, I didn't want to be name dropping places. Fuck that app. So, uh, you know what I'm saying, though? Like, so that's the reason why, um, I don't know, I was contented for a while because I did have some of my people. But then, after so long, the notification stopped. It didn't even tell my people that was, like, constantly going to every live stream. It didn't even tell them. So then I was like, you know what? Fuck that application. Then I started doing live stream on the one I'm probably going to be posting the video on. I started doing live streams over there. And it was good. It notified people and whatnot. But it was kind of like... I don't know. There was no, there was no progression. It was just again same thing. So I went to kick. The only thing is that I don't know if there's anybody new or not. That's the only problem. The people that talk, they all call me boss. So I know that they know me from the place that they know me as boss. I know where they came from. But then th- there'll be like thirty people sometimes viewing, and I don't see. I don't see who's who sometimes. You know what I mean? There's a lot of lurking going on for whatever reason. And also, another another thing that's going on is I got the Beacon Zinc in my bio. Okay, that's where you can find this kick link. And it takes you to the website because they don't have an application yet. I don't know if that's what's turning off people or if it's just because people are fucking with me and they just want to click on links and not actually do anything about it. But so many people, I think about like four or 500 people has clicked on my kick link and nothing happened. Nobody either logged in and signed up or nobody followed me. Maybe they logged in, they created a username and password, but they never followed me. I don't know what the fuck. But, like, I got I got 62 people. I, I'm pretty sure 62 people on kick. I'm trying to get as many people as possible because I figured if I go live, you got to watch the email. I guess they like to email notify you. Um, they don't have an application. So once they do, they'll probably do better with notifying your telephones. But as of right now, you got to stick with the email notifications. But it, it would be great because then I could connect with you guys. Let's say if I had everybody that was on the place that knows me as boss. Let's say if I had everybody from over there, the hundreds of thousands of people over there, and I got them on kick, and then I went live, and everybody got notified, I would have a very good chance at having a nice, successful live stream finally for once in my life. Um, I've never had more than 40 people in a live stream outside of the place where people knows me as boss on that application i think most people that i had at one time was maybe like two something three something we'll say 350 max 350 people max i had uh but that was like a 
split second I had it, lost it, probably lost connection all of a sudden, weirdly, and then, like, fucking I was back down to two people. So uh, that's the, the thing is that I just would love – if you're watching this and you've made it this far in the video, obviously you have some kind of interest in me. So I greatly appreciate you for that. And I would also greatly appreciate if you did follow me on Kick. You just go to www.kick.com, K-I-C-K. Uh, or you could find my – in the About Me section over here, that's where the Beacons link is – on the place where you know me as boss, right there, there's a beacons link right there. You click on that, you click and open anyway, and then you'll see kick link live streaming. It's the one that shakes up and down. So I made it, I tried to make it as easy as possible, and it's easy enough that people click on it. Nothing just happens further. I don't know if people are turned off that there's no application. And the reason there's not is it was supposed to come out on March 3rd, 2023. I guess they were having bug issues or problems, technical difficulties of some kind. And the way people are is like if you release an application like that or release a product like that and it doesn't work at least 99% good, uh, then people will delete it and never use it again. They'll never go back. Whereas if you right out of the gate, you fucking have it 99% very good and there's only slight bug issues, a slight glitch, maybe it cancels out the application on its own some, sometimes. Um, at least people will still give it a chance and wait for the bug fixes, and then, you know, they'll move forward. Maybe they'll probably do some bitching. They're, they're going to have to do some bitching. But they, they won't understand that it's a brand-new fucking thing. So they'll do their bitching, but at the same time, they'll still have a con an account, and they'll still stay with you. Whereas the other way, they'll delete the account and forget about Kick. So I understand it. It just it does suck because um, if it wasn't for having this webcam right now, I would have postponed the live streams. I was planning on doing kick live streams on my cell phone on 3.3, and I was like, debut my, my first live stream on kick, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that would have never happened. So I greatly appreciate everybody for your love and support. You guys haven't given up on me. I've given up on myself a few times before you guys even have, so I really do greatly appreciate you. You guys do try for me, and I know that. Um, Sometimes I do get very discouraged between seeing other people's successes, to be honest with you. I know I shouldn't be worried about other people, but it's like it's difficult when you click on somebody and then you see they got 10,000 views, people in there just chatting, normal chats. They got 10,000 normal people chatting, and then the person's just picking their nose. I'm like, what the fuck is this? You know, and, and, and the chat is normal, whereas I have a chat of six people. And one person's talking about a death in the family. The other person's talking about their jobless. The other person's talking about they don't have a home to live in. They're watching me off of a TV screen that they're wa walking by in the streets. Y you know what I mean? It's just like some oddball type shit or like shit that you don't got to be saying during a live stream or during a positive get together with six people. You know, at least if I had fucking 10,000 in there and then I had some negative air shit, I'd say, okay, there's 10,000 people in here. Not everybody's going to be having a great day. But God damn it, six, six people can't control themselves, can't behave, can't not talk about this and not talk about that type of shit that's going to get me canceled and whatnot. Because anything you guys say is just as good as I fucking, I typed it out, send. And it shouldn't be like that, but that's just the way our society works. It's fucking stupid. So anyhow... That's the kick side of things, okay? I'm live streaming on kick now. I didn't delete the other applications and whatnot. I don't have any intentions on doing that. However, I plan on just sticking with this. I don't want anybody subscribing to the other channels. Uh, I don't want you to waste your money. I really don't see myself having a need to go over there. Everything has been great on kick. Has it been like super duper like I thought? No. Because there's been people that, that like started off with zero. And I've seen their... <clears throat> successes and whatnot and i'm like what the fuck i brought in so many people before i even started my first live stream i think i brought in at least like 50 people before i did my first kick live and you know like i say though i get 30 34 people something like this that's very good a nice change of pace so listen this is what we're going to talk about fortnite chapter 4 season 2 they just released it yesterday this is another reason why i didn't go live streaming so what happened was i had a uh i don't know i was up pretty much almost 24 hours um, the, not last night, but the night before that, right? Then I did a live stream. I was exhausted the second I clicked fucking stream. I yawned it out. Almost two hours I made it. I was like, okay, I got to go now. I shut it off the live. Um, 
I didn't have much of sleep because I fucking I, I fell asleep not too long after that. I woke up very extremely early, probably like 4.30 or some shit like that. And it's actually very early right now. It's 6.11 in the a.m. Good morning. So I woke up very early because of the whole season two update and whatnot. Um, so I just stayed up, and then finally they did the release of the update. I could play. Obviously, I played. I got to, like, level 19 already. Nothing paid for besides the battle pass. That's it. I didn't do no extra, you know, boosters and whatnot. You know, I do the booster thing when they have, like, Spider-Man. Or if they had, like, the Ninja Turtles, I would probably boost the shit out of that. Uh, okay, but so I want to go over what the updates are. So it, there's a mega city, okay? It's like, a, it's like a neon, very bright city. They got these. We'll go over everything, okay? So here's I'm going to go through the list. This is off of the Fortnite.com website. So they got Victory Crown Rogue. That's a motorcycle. I like it. You can boost. Uh, the only thing is that it's not very good off-roading. I wish they didn't get rid of the dirt bikes. This way you could have an option of two, off-road, on-road, but whatever. They got a Nitro Drifter car. The thing is fresh. You have to hold L1 to drift it out, and then once you release the drift, you fucking start speeding off a little bit. It's very nice. Uh, there's a kinetic blade. It's very fresh. You have the blade. It's a weapon, obviously. So it's a, like a katana type of thing, like a like a new age katana, maybe. And R2 just does... Uh, you click R2 once, and you do a double swing. Ching, ching. And then you click L2, and he does some kind of like powered up fucking... And then it smacks them up in the air a little bit. It gives them, like, a little speed bump in the air. And I think it makes them so that they can't do nothing. I don't think they could shoot you. I don't think they could do nothing besides look at you and be helpless. And then you just go, you know, just slice and dice the shit out of them. So I, I do love that blade. I got many fucking eliminations with that thing. The Havoc Suppressed Assault Rifle. I will say, this is, as far as the assault rifles, way, I like it way better than the one that they had. I don't know what the other one was. Hammer? I think, I don't know, I'm terrible with my memory and names and shit, but I didn't like that one. I It was okay. This one I like a lot better. A hell of a lot better. I love the, the Havoc pump shotgun. Phenomenal ish shotgun. I love that. The overclocked pulse rifle. You know what's a shame is I finally received that weapon, and I didn't get a chance to use it. I stuck with what I knew when I was in the middle of some issues. I had to build the bear fucking Bob the Builder motherfucker, building towers and shit, so... I had to switch to panic mode, which is use what you know. Don't start getting creative with new weapons that you don't know how they shoot. And uh, so I didn't get a chance to. Mega Classics. This is a heavy sniper rifle. Phenomenal ass gun. I love that. Fucking one shot. Um, what do you call it? <laughs> Dragon's Breath Sniper. I've never seen that. So I don't know where you go for that, but I've never seen that. Cobra DMR. That one is a very fresh one. I like that one. Uh, the Cobra DMR is very... Very nice, because it kind of reminds me of the automatic sniper. So, I like that. The combat shotgun. Um, all heisted exotics. Oh, so they still they still have those, the heist exotics? Okay. Uh, let's see here. In Chapter 4, Season 2, Slurp Juice is now legendary rarity, restoring a lot of health and shield fast. It also restores health and shield at the same time. Drink it before combat. Okay. Uh, okay, so there's new augmentations. They got dumpster diving. Loot will spawn nearby when you leave a hiding place. Can occur once per hiding place. Treasure hunter. Nearby chests are marked for the first time you enter a POI. Huh. Slap surplus. Find a slap juice in every chest you open. If the chest already had a slap juice, it'll have an extra one. Munitions slide. Gain medium ammo while sliding. That I use many times. It's very good. I, I greatly appreciate that one. Medium ammo amp. Your weapons using medium ammo will have increased magazine size. Okay, that's very good. I don't think I have that one unlocked yet. Shotgun recycle. Weapons using shotgun ammo have a chance not to consume ammo. Oh, that's very good. And dignified finish. Eliminations refresh a cooldown. For the Kinetic Blades Dash Attack. So, uh, they also have... There's this island that, like... I don't know what the fuck, but all of a sudden it just appears out of nowhere. It's just, like, rifted into the air. I think it happens, like, later on in the match, though. It's not, like, right off the bat. But I, I enjoy that place. Matter of fact, I think that might be... 
I don't know if that's Lucky Landing. I think that might be an old place that people would be familiar with, but I have no idea. I really, I'm trying to find it right now. They got a lot of pictures of these places, but there's no, there is no, I see no damn name. Uh, carryovers. I don't know what the, oh, okay, all right, that was, and these are the augmentations that they're bringing back in. Light Fingers, Sniper Surplus, Aerialist, Chug Gunner, Jelly Angler, Bloodhound, Shadow Striker, more car, more parkour, more parkour, and Keymaster. So those are the old ones that came back. And you know, it took a while. I had to re-unlock that glider thing, which sucked. Uh, but finally, I did get that because so many times I'd be stuck on the top of a mountain, and I'm not a builder. I really, I, I build just a wall. I just maybe a wall, two, two walls max. You know, I boop boop, and then like I stay there, and I. I like to shoot it out. That's what I like to do. So when I'm falling and I plummet down to the earth, I just plop and I die. And that's the end of that. So talking about Fortnite, okay, I'm going to end this here. I'm going to go and play. I greatly appreciate you guys. Check out the live stream. All right, it's been phenomenal. I love and appreciate every single one of you guys. I love hanging out with you guys on the live streams. Lately, I've been just doing like this, just talking to you guys, hanging out. Eventually, I would like to do different things. We're going to do some like art stuff, craft things. Um... Q and A's. Uh, I want to do like live videos on the application that you know me as Boss. I want to press record, have you guys comment on like the latest video in there, and if you guys want me to do POVs or just be like, oh, I want you to reenact this scene in like Casino or Goodfellas or some shit like this, then I'll do all that live with you guys. Uh, so many different things, you know. Like if you guys on Tuesdays, I would like to do. Like, if you have relationship advice you want to talk about, not that I'm a, a, a therapist or a shrink or nothing like this, but I think I, you know, as long as I'm not in, involved and whatnot, then, uh, and what I mean by that is, like, obviously, if, if it was, if it would be a family member, then more than likely, like, that other piece of per person's going to be a piece of shit if they fuck up. I wouldn't be like, oh, maybe give them a chance, but just be on the lookout. You know, with you guys, at least, I would just be like, all right, so they did this. It's not, it's not that bad where you gotta end it right this this second but like you know just keep your eyes out okay you know it's a red flag for sure i don't know uh so relationship things or job things whatever you guys wanted to talk about the only thing i wanted to try and avoid is I, i'm very weird about the whole death thing i really don't care for that I, I i don't know if it's because i don't know about it you know what i mean like Who's to say what goes down here afterwards? I don't know if you're just like a, a floaty spirit guy that just goes to the Milky Ways or whatever, or, or you just hang around like Casper the Friendly Ghost. But, uh, but okay, so I greatly appreciate you all. I love you all very much. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for hanging out with me. I love you. Thank you. Kick. Join me over there. Follow me. I love you.